Numbers chapter 32. Now the children of Reuben and the children of Gad had a very great multitude of cattle. And when they saw the land of Jazer and the land of Gilad, that behold, the place was a place for cattle. The children of Gad and the children of Reuben came and spoke unto Moses and to Elzar, the priest, and unto the princes of the congregation, saying, Arab and Deban and Jazer and Nimrah and Hezbon and Elah and Shebam and Nebo and beyond. Even the country which the Lord smote be before the congregation of Israel is a land for cattle. And, they, and thy, thy servants have cattle. Wherefore they said, If we have found grace in thy sight, let this land be given unto thy servants for possession, and bring us not over Jordan. And Moses said unto the children of Gad, and to the children of Reuben, Shall your brethren go to war, and shall ye sit there, here? And wherefore discourage ye the heart of the children of Israel from going over unto the land which the Lord had given them? Thus said your fathers, When I sent them from Kanish Barna to see the land, for when they went up unto the valley of Eskal and saw the land, they discouraged the heart of the children of Israel, that they should not go into the land which the Lord had given them. And the Lord's anger was kindled the same time, and he swore, saying, Surely none of the men that came up out of Egypt from twenty years old and upward shall see the land which I swore unto Abraham unto Isaac and unto Jacob, because they have not wholly followed me. Save Caleb the son of Jabinah, the Hanazite, and Joshua the son of Nun, for they have wholly followed the Lord. And the Lord's anger was kindled against Israel, and he made them wander in the wilderness forty years until all generations that had done evil in the sight of the Lord was consumed. And behold, ye are risen up in your father's stead, increase of sinful men to argument yet the fierce anger of the Lord toward Israel. And if ye turn away from, from after him, he will yet again lead them in the wilderness, and ye shall destroy all his, his people. And they came near unto him and said, we will build sheepfolds here for our cattle and cities for our little ones. And we are, but we ourselves will go ready armed before the children of Israel until we have brought them onto their place and our little ones shall dwell in the fenced cities because of the inhabitants of the land. We will not return unto our houses and unto until the children of Israel have inherited every man his inheritance. For we will not inherit with them on yonder side Jordan or forward, because our inheritance is fallen to us on this side Jordan eastward. And Moses said unto them, If ye will do this thing, if ye will go armed before the Lord to war, and will go all of your arms over Jordan before the Lord, until he had driven out his enemies from before him, and the land be subdued before the Lord, then afterward ye shall return and be guiltless. Before the Lord and before Israel, this and this land shall be your possession before the Lord. But if ye will not do so, behold, ye have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin will find you out. 
but you cities for your little ones and folds for your sheep and do that which had proceeded out of your mouth. And the children of Gad and the children of Reuben spoke unto Moses saying, they, thy servants will do as my Lord commanded. Our little ones, our wives, our flocks, and all our cattle shall be there in the cities of Gilad. But thy servants will pass over at every man armed for war before the Lord to battle as, as my Lord said. So concerning the Moses commanded Ilzar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the chief fathers of the tribes of the, Isra of the children of Israel. And Moses said unto them, If the children of Gad and the children of Reuben will pass with you over Jordan, every man armed to battle before the Lord, and the land shall be subdued before you. Then you shall give them the land of Gilad for possession. But if they will not pass over with you armed, they shall have permissions, possessions among you in the land of Canaan. And the children of Gad and the children of Reuben answered, saying, As the Lord had said unto thy servants, so will we do. We will pass over armed before the Lord into the land of Canaan, that the possession of our inheritance on this side Jordan may be ours. And Moses gave unto them, even to the children of Gad, and to the children of Reuben, and unto half the tribe of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, the kingdom of Shehan, king of the Amorites, and the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, and the land, with the cities thereof in the coast, even the cities of the country round about. And the children of Gad built Debon and Ar Aratar and Eror and Arthra, Soph Sophan and Jazar and Jobedhad and Bethamara and Bathra fenced cities and folds for sheep. And the children of Reuben built Hashban and Elah and Karazaram and Nebo and Balnian, their names being changed, and Sima, and gave other names unto the cities which they built. And the children of Mashir, the son of Manasseh, went to Gilad and took it, and disposed the Amorite which was in it. And Moses gave Gilad unto Mashir, the son of Manasseh, and he dwelt therein. And Jer, the son of Masha, went and took the small towns thereof, and called them Havajar. And Noba went and took Canaan and the villages thereof, and called it Noba after his own name. Numbers chapter 33. These are the journeys of the children of Israel, which went forth out of the land of Egypt with their armies under the hand of Moses and Aaron. And Moses wrote their goings out according to their journeys by the commandment of the Lord. And these are their journeys according to their go goings out. And they departed from Ramesses in the first month, on the 15th day of the first month on the morrow after the Passover of children of Israel, went out with a high hand in the sight of all the Egyptians. For the Egyptians buried all their firstborn, which the Lord had smitten among them. Upon their gods also the Lord executed judgment. And the children of Israel removed from Ramesses and pitched in Sukkot. And they departed from Sukkot and pitched in e Etham, which is in the edge of the wilderness. And they removed from Etham and turned again onto Fephorat, which is before Baal of Son, and they pitched before Magdal. 
And they departed from before Pharaoh and passed through the midst of the sea into the wilderness and went three days journey into the wilderness of Etham and pitched in Marah. And they removed from Marah and came unto Elam. And in Elam were twelve fountains of water and three score and ten palm trees. And they pitched there. And they removed from Elam and encamped by the Red Sea. And they removed from the Red Sea and encamped in the wilderness of Sin. And they took their journey out of the wilderness of Sin and encamped in Dophakah. And they departed from Dophakah and encamped in Alush. And they removed from Alush and encamped at Ramdim. There was no water for the people to drink. And they departed from Raphadim and pitched in the wilderness of Sinai. And they removed from the desert of Sinai and pitched at Garabava. And they departed from Garabah and encamped at Hazra. And they departed from Hazra and pitched in Rama. And they departed from Rama and pitched at Ramaparaz. And they departed from Ramaparaz and pitched in Libna. And they removed from Libna and pitched at Rasa. And they journeyed from Rasa and pitched in Gal Gal Galala. And they went from Galala and pitched in Mount Safar. And they removed from Mount Safar and encamped in Harada. And they removed from Harada and pitched in Mekla. And they removed from Mekla and encamped at Taha. And they departed from Taha and pitched at Tara. And they removed from Tara and pitched in Madaka. And they went from Madaka and pitched in Asma. And they departed from Hazma and encamped at Maserat. And they departed from Maserat and pitched in Banakan. And they removed from Banakan and encamped at Horagad. And they went from Horagad and pitched in Jotbatha. And they removed from Jotbat and encamped at Abaron. And they departed from Abron and encamped at Azabir. And they removed from Azabir and pitched in the wilderness of Zin, which is Gad Gadesh. And they removed from Gadesh and pitched in her Mount Hor, in the edge of the land of Edom. And Aaron the priest went up into Mount Hor at the commandment of the Lord and died there in the Fortieth year after the children of Israel were come out of the land of Egypt in the first day of the fifth month. And Aaron was a hundred and twenty and three years old when he died in Mount Hor. And the king Arad, the Canaanite, which dwelt in the south of the land of Canaan, heard of the coming of the children of Israel. And they departed from Mount Hor and pitched in Zalamon. And they departed from Zalamon and pitched in Punon. And they departed from Punon and pitched in Oba. And they departed from Oba and pitched in Ijaberim, in the border of Moab. And they departed from Lim and pitched in Dabongad. And they removed from Dabangad and encamped in Almanbaldam. And they removed from Almanbaldam and pitched in the mountains of Abram before Nebel. And they departed from the mountains of Abram and pitched in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho. And they pitched by Jordan from Bethsamoth. Even unto Absatam in the plains of Moab. The Lord spoke unto Moses in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho, saying, 
Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, When ye are passed over Jordan into the land of Canaan, then ye shall drive out of the inhabitants of the land before, from before you and destroy all their pictures and destroy all their molten images and quite pluck down all their high places. And ye shall dispose the inhabitants of the land and dwell therein. For I have given you the land to possess it, and ye shall divide the land by lot for an inheritance among your families. And to the more ye shall give the more inheritance, and to the fewer ye shall give the less inheritance. Every man's inheritance shall be in the place where his lot falleth fall according to the tribes of your fathers ye shall inherit. But if ye will not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall come to pass. Then those which ye let remain of them shall be pricks in your eyes and thorns in your sides, and shall vex you in the land wherein ye dwell. Moreover, it shall come to pass that I shall do unto you as I thought to do unto them. Numbers chapter 34 And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land of Canaan, this is the land that shall fall unto you for an inheritance, even the land of Canaan with the coast thereof. Then your south quarter shall be from the wilderness of Zin, along by the coast of Eden, and your south border shall be the outmost coast of the salt sea eastward. And your border shall turn from the south to the ascent of Akrabim and pass on to Zin. And the going forth thereof shall be from the south of Tazabirnia and shall go on to Azatar and pass on to Asmon. And the border shall fetch a compass from Amzon unto the river of Egypt, and the goings out of it shall be at the sea. And as the, for the western border, ye shall even have the great sea for a border. This shall be your west border, and this shall be your north border from the Great sea, ye shall point out for your Mount Hor. For Mount Hor, ye shall point out your border unto the entrance of Haman, and the goings forth of the border shall be to Zadad, and the border shall go unto Zephron, and the goings out of it shall be at Azhazran. This shall be your north border. And ye shall point out your east border from Hazran to Saffron. And the coast shall go down from Saffron to Ravla on the east side of Ain. And the border shall descend and shall reach Onto the side of the Sea of Chenra, eastward. And the border shall go down to Jordan, and the goings out of it shall be at the Salt Sea. This shall be your land, with the coast thereof round about. And Moses commanded the children of Israel, saying, This is the land which ye shall inherit by lot, which the Lord commanded to give unto the nine tribes and to the half-tribe. For the tribe of the children of Reuben, according to the house of their fathers, and the tribe of the children of Gad, according to the house of their fathers, have received their inheritance. And half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance. The two tribes and the half-tribe have received their inheritance on this side, Jordan near Jericho eastward, 
toward the sun rising. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, These are the names of the men which shall divide the land unto you, Alzar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun. And ye shall take one prince of every tribe to divide the land by inheritance. And the names of the men are these, of the tribe of Judah, Caleb the son of Zubanah, and, and of the tribe of the children of Simon, Samuel the son of Almutid, of the tribe of Benjamin, Eldad the son of Chilslon, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Dan, Buki the son of Jolie, and the prince of the children of Joseph, for the tribe of the children of Mansa, Hanuel the son of Ephod, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Ephraim, Camel the son of Saphtan, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Zubalan, Elzaphan, the son of Paranai, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Azar, Patel, the son of Asan, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Asar, Asan, the son of Zalamai, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Naphtali, Pazza, the son of Amnon. These are they whom in the Lord commanded to divide the inheritance unto the children of the Israel in the land of Canaan. Numbers chapter 35 And the Lord spoke unto Moses in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho, saying, Command the children of Israel that they give unto the Levites of the inheritance of their possession cities to dwell in. And ye shall give also unto the Levites suburbs for the cities around about them. And the cities shall they have to dwell in, and the suburbs of them shall be for their cattle, and for their God goods, and for all their beasts. And the suburbs of the cities which ye shall give unto the Levites shall reach from the wall of the city and outward a thousand cubits around about. And ye shall measure from without the city on the east side two thousand cubits, and on the south side two thousand cubits, and on the west side two thousand cubits, and on the north side two thousand cubits. And the city shall be in the midst, this shall be to them the suburbs and the cities. And among the cities which ye shall give unto the Levites, there shall be six cities for ye refuge, which ye shall appoint for the manslayer. Then he may flee thither, and to them ye shall add forty and two cities. So all the cities which ye shall give to the Levites shall be forty and eight cities. Them shall he give with their suburbs. And the cities which ye shall give shall be of the possession of the children of Israel. From them that have many ye shall give many. But from them that have few ye shall give few. Every one shall give of the cities his cities unto the Levites according to his inheritance which he inherited. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye be come over Jordan into the land of Canaan, then ye shall appoint you cities to be cities of refuge for you, that the slayer may flee thither, which killeth any person that unawares. And they shall be unto you cities for refuge from the avenger, that the manslayer die not, until he stand before the congregation in judgment. And of these cities which ye shall give six cities shall ye have for refuge. He shall give three cities on this side Jordan, and three cities shall ye give in the land of Canaan which shall be cities of refuge. These six cities shall be a refuge both for the children of Israel and for the stranger and for the sojourner among them, that everyone 
that killeth any person unawares may flee thither. And if he smite them with an instrument of iron, so that he die, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. And if he smite him with throwing a stone, wherewith he may die, and he die, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. Or if he smite him with an hand of weapon of wood, wherewith he may die, and he die, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. The revenger of blood himself shall slay the murderer when he meted him. He shall slay him. But if he trust him of hatred or hurl at him by slaying of weight that he die or in enmity smite him with his hand and that he die, he that smote him shall surely be put to death. For he is a murderer, and the revenger of blood shall slay the murderer when he meted him. But if he trust, thrust him suddenly without enmity, or have cast upon him anything without laying a, of weight, or with any stone wherewith a man may die, seeing him not, and cast it upon that he die, and was not his enemy neither sought his harm then the congregation shall judge between the slayer and the revenger of blood according to these judgments and the congregation shall deliver the slayer out of the hand of the revenger of blood and the congregation shall restore him to the city of his refuge whither he was fled and he shall abide in it unto the death of the high priest which was anointed with holy oil. But if the slayer shall at any time come without the border of the city of his refuge, whither he was fled, the revenger of blood find him without the borders of the city of his refuge, and the revenger of the blood kill. The slayer, he shall not be guilty of blood, because he should have remained in the city of his refuge until the death of the high priest but after the death of the high priest the slayer shall return on into the land of his possession so these things shall be for a statue of judgment unto you throughout your generations in all your dwellings whoso kill any person the murderer shall be put to death by the mouth of witnesses but one witness shall not testify against any person to cause him to die. Moreover, ye shall take no satisfaction for the life of a murderer, which is guilty of death, but he shall be surely put to death. And ye shall take no satisfaction for him that is fled to the city of his refuge, that he should come again to dwell in the land until the death of the priest. So ye shall not pollute the land, wherein ye shall for the blood it defiled the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Defile not therefore the land, the land which ye shall inhabit, wherein I dwell, for I the Lord dwell among the children of Israel. Numbers chapter 36 And the chief fathers of the families of the children of Gilat, the son of Mashir, the son of Massa, of the families of the sons of Joseph, came near and spoke before Moses and before the princes, the chief fathers of the children of Israel. And they said, The Lord commanded my Lord to give the land for an inheritance by lot to the children of Israel. And my Lord was commanded by the Lord to give the inheritance of Zalpha, our brother, unto his daughters. And if they may be married to any of the sons of the other tribes of the children of Israel, then shall their inheritance be taken from the inheritance of our fathers, and shall be put to the inheritance of the tribe whereunto they are received, so shall it be taken from the lot of your inheritance, our inheritance. 
And when the jubilee of the children of Israel shall be, then shall their inheritance be put unto the inheritance of the tribe, whereunto they are received, so shall their inheritance be taken away from the inheritance of the tribe of our fathers. And Moses commanded the children of Israel according to the word of the Lord, saying, The tribe of the sons of Joseph has said, Well, this is the thing which the Lord doth command concerning the daughters of Zalvahal, saying, Let them marry to whom they think best. Only to the family of the tribe of their father shall they marry. So shall they not the inheritance of the children of Israel remove from tribe to tribe, for everyone of the children of Israel shall keep himself into the inheritance of the tribe of his father. And every daughter that possesses an inheritance in any tribe of the children of Israel shall be wife unto one of the family of the tribe of her father. And the, that the children of Israel may enjoy every man the inheritance of his father. Neither shall the inheritance remove from one tribe to another tribe. But every one of the tribes of the children of Israel shall keep himself to his own inheritance. Even as the Lord commanded Moses, so did the daughters of Zlapahad. For Malad Terza, the Holad, and Malchi and Noah, the daughters of Zephah, were married into, unto their father's brother's sons. And they were married into the families of sons of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. And their inheritance remained in the tribe of the family of their father. These are the commandments and the judgments which the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses unto the children of Israel in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho.
As summer flowers we fade and die Fame, youth and beauty hurry by But life eternal calls to us At the cross I will not boast in wealth or might Or human wisdom's fleeting light But I will boast in knowing Christ At the cross I rejoice in my Redeemer Greatest treasure, wellspring of my soul I will trust in Him, no other My soul is satisfied in Him alone Do wonders here that I confess My worth and my unworthiness my value fixed, my ransom paid At the cross I rejoice in my Redeemer Greatest treasure, wellspring of my soul I will trust in Him, no other My soul is satisfied